Look, this is an experiment. Our first, okay, uh, to hell with the intro. Folks, this is All Aboard for Hell, and you may notice something different. First off, you can see us. And yes, I know, we are more devastatingly beautiful than you had even hoped. Yeah. We thought maybe it would be fun to put some faces to the voices. And uh, for that reason, Anne has been dedicated to learning how to use OBS while I do... IT things you and have no all. spare time. I mean, he just yeah, does you're fuck right. All. You're right. You're right. I came. I'm an ideas person. Yep. I have an idea, and others can engineer it into reality. In that regard, I'm like every director who ever existed. Do you think Kubrick was responsible for his best work? He had the ideas and had his director of photography do all the heavy fucking lifting. That's a lie. That's a fair, unfair comparison. I am not Stanley Kubrick. For one thing, he had talent. <laughs> It's okay. I am not mad. I, I'm just here been, laughing uh, at him because, um, yeah, you're right. He has no talent at all. I'm worthless. It's okay. Oh, look at you with that coffee mug. I just. Oh, this is from the Christmas Village last year, actually. And hold on. Let me actually join our uh, channel so I can see. Yeah, there we go. This thing is adorable. I love it. And it was filled last year with mulled wine. I had like four cups of this shit. It was amazing. This is just Folder's instant coffee because I, I don't have time to make it this morning. Not the best, but not terrible. Well, that is a-okay. And also, don't mind my hair. I um, was not prepared and I lost my hair tie, so therefore my hair couldn't go up. And uh, yeah. You just, you have to scare Rich. You have to do the whole Sadako thing. Just like, boom. You know what? That's it what doesn't my... work with me, but. No, no, no. That's what my daughter is for. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. She did do that one time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the middle of God. the night. She does it many times. She just sneaks in and we're just like, what the fuck is happening? God bless those kids. Oh, God. And I keep <laughs> trying to cut their hair and they just won't let me. Why? What's that, what, they're just trying to get it as long as they can? Is that a yeah. style now? I don't know. I, know they... it... I, I don't fucking know, okay? It used to be a style. I remember that. There was like, especially in the South, it was like, look how long my hair is. Like, because you could do it, I think was the whole draw. I, I don't know. Uh, you know anyway. What? No fucking clue. Ugh. Yeah. Where is this you're recording this to, by the way? Uh, my local, local drive. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Good. I have no idea what format, but if need be, um, we're going to have to upload that. Drop the video into the, um, do, 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 the Apple thing, the, the shared yes, folder. Yes, the shared drive, and, and then I, we'll see where I it goes think, from there. Yeah. I think I know uh, enough about syncing audio to make it all match up. So yep. that'll be the first thing. Mm -hmm. Um Get the audio from Discord, uh, edit it, and then sync it to video, and then edit the video. This is going to be more work intensive, but yes. it's going to be fun. Yes. Please observe the havoc in my background. I love it. It's just magnificent. We have a guitar I picked up from a dumpster and restrung myself poorly, but it's restrung. It, it does play. We have the collection of books. Most that, That's all Linda. That's all my fiance. We have this, which is intended to be... That is a um, dandelion. Linda's uh, uh, got some emotional attachment to dandelions for reasons that are hers to explain, so I won't. Oh, and you can see the, the pile of um, sort of trash presents. And also, I have a crossbow. He is a man of, uh, of many things. And then you can see in my background, I have a lovely Christmas tree. And to the other side of me, I have a big ass bean bag that's like five feet. <laughs> that's as big as you are. It is, yeah. It's actually I love it. very, very comfortable if we wanted to like sit on it. With bean bags, I I find that you know they they hurt my back after a while. I don't know how that happens, or at least that's 
how it has been. I've lost a lot of weight, so maybe I should try it again. I don't know. Anyway, Hey, um, by the way, I have another surprise for you. If oh we God, are looking, no. no, 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 um, just for the video purposes, if we are looking at stuff, I have it set up so that it will show my screen and I can transfer to that and the audience can see what we're looking at on Google or whatever the fuck we're looking up. Damn. I thought She's of serious, serious everything. about this. I, you know what? I had a dream that we, Hold up. that we won the lottery And Mm -hmm. I created a production company and me, you and um, Jackie for FPNA purposes created a company and we turned everything into a wonderful podcast. But it was only just <sighs> to a dream. be well, fuck that stop wishing start working i remember when i first heard that it was when i was um god i must have been like early 20s and one of my coworkers said that we were talking about things that we would like to do why don't you stop wishing about it and start working for it and i was like fuck you jake also you're right damn <laughs> that old man gave me some good advice I mean, they've got that a would point. be fun They've got a really good point. Yeah, yeah. He didn't mind talking tough to me either because I was the only white dude in the kitchen. Like, he had no reservations. This was in Mississippi. It's, it, I'm not saying he's right. I'm saying I, I was a safe target to take some frustration out because I know he'd been getting that shit his entire life. I let it go. I made friends with him eventually, so. So what is the actual topic of today's episode? I know we kind of just went off the rails because I surprised you with this OBS shit. It's okay. Um, so we are, as we record, it's actually December 10th, but this should be going up just about uh, the time that the new year is going to be rung right in. Yes. So I think we should discuss our new year's resolutions, or if we want, we can also talk about new year's irresolutions. All right. In the first category, we have things that we are going to try to commit to. And in the second We're going to reflect back on the dumb shit we've done over the year and say no more. So, I don't have a list. I'm just going to freewheel this shit. Yeah, How no, about you? that's this is fine. I mean, I God. I want to quit smoking, but I know it's not going to happen because I've tried and tried so much to quit smoking. And also, if you are Richard's family, please tune out. If I quit smoking because they don't know he smokes, he quit smoking. Okay, so let's consider this. The entire time that I've known you and Rich, you both have been smokers, yeah. Yeah. And at the worst of it, I remember, I don't remember the circumstances around it, but I do recall distinctly you went outside. It, this is back at uh, the casino days, right? Yeah. And you, you were there, you were smoking, and I was like, You okay? And with a cigarette in your mouth, you start lighting another, pre-lighting a cigarette. And you look at me and go. Alternating fingers. I'm like, she's just showing off. <laughs> but no, I think it was a reflexive thing. So Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Um. I'm I'm a terrible smoker. I smoke like a chimney. I I know it's bad for my health. It's probably why my diabetes has gotten worse. And it's No. probably why I'm, you know, well, it makes you insulin resistant. Shit. In case you didn't know that. Kids, there is no benefit to smoking ever at all. Stop. Just cut it out. Nix that shit from your life. It's terrible. Not to be judgmental of you, you damn smoker. Oh, God. I can't help it. But yeah, that's one thing that's been on my mind. Um, that's a really big ask because I have tried and failed so many times. I mean... The purpose of, uh, the, you know what, if, if you fail, another chance to try again. I know that's a cliche, but I mean, it is true. So I support that one. That one gets a stamp of approval. Cheers. Of course, the salud with my instant coffee. <laughs> um, With my um, beautiful Red Bull that I uh, never leave home without. oh, Red Bull, I have, I have memories of Red Bull. You know what those memories are? Terrible memories. I used to chug that shit. We had Secret Santa one year, and I decided to fuck with whoever was my Secret Santa by listing three things. 
caffeine, caffeine, and in all caps, caffeine. This, I didn't know at the time, but it was um, a coworker who was also a friend of mine, right? Marquita Perry. Marquita, if you are out there, thank you so much, because that did make Christmas. She got me Folgers Instant Coffee, some gourmet coffee shit, I don't even remember what it was, and then... For the last one, we all revealed each other to ourselves. It was a fucking Easter basket loaded with five-hour energies and Red Bulls. I was like 25 at the time. I could still process all that shit. Now it would kill me. Yeah, no, I um, I certainly don't think I want to have all of that stuff anymore. I mean, I used to be a really, really bad Red Bull person where I would mm. drink two or three a day and... Those to the point where I like the numbers up. Yeah, to the point where I pass out wherever the fuck I was and I couldn't make it home. So it's like I at least tune that down um to like only on Sundays when we we record, but other than that, I don't really drink Red Bull. I respect it. I respect it. Oh my god, I forgot to take my medicine this morning. Oh, you're sorry, fucked. ADC. It's okay. It's okay. I'll take it when I'm as soon as I, we're done here. Um, I think that's a great resolution. It's probably one of the most common ones, and mm -hmm. the reason is because everybody knows cigarettes are bad for you. Everybody knows this shit is going to kill you. Everybody knows that it's terrible. Non-smokers, if you do not know, a cigarette in the morning with coffee tastes fucking amazing. Oh, oh it my does. God, yes. It really does. I I think I only I kept like the same pack of American Spirit Black because if I'm going to do something, goddamn it, I'm doing it properly. And I would occasionally smoke with other people. Usually if it was just like, <sighs> sick of these assholes, let's go outside and talk shit about them. I'm, well, listen, cigarettes, you know what? The first cigarette in the morning, I am so cranky if I don't have it. I don't feel like I'm awake. You know what? I used to smoke in between workouts. <laughs> what? <laughs> I get notifications on my goddamn watch all day and finish a workout and finish a workout and finish a workout. It's like. I, I told you it would get work annoying. From home. Fuck that. No, <laughs> it is kind of inspiring. I'm just like, look at her taking control of her fucking life and health. I love it. I respect this. I won't do it, but I respect those who will. Yeah. I mean, I've been slacking off the last couple of weeks ever since Thanksgiving because it's just like the holiday look, season. Look. December is the do nothing month. I don't give a fuck who says otherwise. You don't do shit in right. December. And the reason is simple. You, you're just coming off Thanksgiving. You're going into Christmas and New Year. No, you can't ask me to do anything. Fuck that. And then, especially around Philadelphia, we have the second of the cold month holidays, which is Lunar New Year. For those of you who, like me, are innocent of this knowledge, it's a big fucking party. It's New Year's Eve over like two weeks. It's incredible. God damn, I gotta hit up the night market this Isn't year. Isn't it like a month? It. Like well, every Sunday a... mm -hmm. for a month, they do like a parade with the dragon and everything like that in Chinatown. I don't know if they do that. Maybe. That's what Maybe I Maybe historically they have, but like when I got up here, it was like 2018, right? Mm hmm And that was, I think, Year of the Pig? They yes. had, this is amazing. So, Audience, for more information, um, in Philadelphia, there's a huge diaspora of Asian folk, and the casinos desperately want that money. So they celebrate Lunar New Year to a degree that I did not expect. All I know is everything was red and gold, and there was a giant gold statue of a pig, and I'm like, I don't know what's happening, but I approve. When they brought the actual uh, the lion dancers in, I, I was not ready. I was completely unprepared. That was fun, though. So maybe they do. I don't know. Um, what is this year, anyway? Is it the year? This of the year dragon? is the year of the dragon. And just so you know, oh, you and I, we are the same year. So we are both tigers. Mm -hmm. So I actually took, right. yes, and we're the same tiger. We are fire tigers. So I look at the fortune every year. Okay, bro. This year was supposed to be a great fucking year for us. We had a great fucking year this year, okay? Opportunities for our career opportunity to make more money. I'm sure you got a raise this that, year, right? Oh, yes. Good Lord. I got fucking a raise. I, I make uh, 10000 more this year than last year. 
I fucking knocked it out the goddamn park. I'm not, not even going to gonna say. I'm not even going to say what my salary changed. No, 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 no. no. It, that's because she, it's okay. It's okay. A fucking lot. It's a fucking lot. Folks, it's like my husband's Anna's, salary. <laughs> and is a finance bro. God damn. Especially when you consider bonus too. Respect. Respect. That's all I got. And a little jealousy. Okay. A lot of jealousy. All right. Then, jealousy. Let me brush your butt bubble now. The year of the tiger next year. We're not Please gonna have God, a good year. No. We're not gonna have a good year. <laughs> oh. It's um what's gonna happen is the first six months we're gonna struggle with our career. Nice. As far as like nice. proving that you know it's gonna be a rough time at work. Like a lot of work, overworked. We're not gonna get an increase in pay next year other than our annual raises. And we're going to have communication issues with our significant other for the first six months. I'm telling fate to go fuck itself. I don't buy it. Not and, doing it. But then, Won't accept it. But it says the last six months of the year, with all the hard work and diligence that we have, we have an opportunity for creating something, a new opportunity for ourselves, whether it's a new business venture and excelling as long as we're willing to put in the hard work, but it's not going to be as easy as it was this year for us. I am not a stranger to having to work hard. I've done it my whole life. Everything has been a grind. Right? Every moment of every hour of every day. So fine. Bring it. Fucking dragon kids. So you know what it, it you know what it means? Hmm. You can't slack off on this fucking podcast like you've been doing the last because I'm carrying the fucking weight of this podcast, motherfucker. You're right. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Anyway, listen to me as I scold Paul like he's a child because sometimes it's he okay. just needs to be scolded because, like this morning, he woke up an hour late. I'm just kind of like, yeah, I, I, him out I there. have, I, I could make an excuse, but it would just be an excuse. So I'll, I'll spare you that. It's okay. Anyway, um, well, is now I remember reading something. Uh, the tiger, uh, what is it? No, uh, the dragon kids are the ones who are the most successful and also the most insufferable. I wonder if that's true. My father is a dragon. Oh, it's, it's true. It's, it's, it's completely it's true. true. It's completely true. The man has had apparently nothing but financial success, enough to support how many families? Multiple, like all of his yeah. siblings and then see, um, yeah, other families too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's also an obstinate bastard. Who, I don't know if we should air all the man's business, but th let's just say this. He's stubborn. Life-threateningly stubborn. Yes. That I feel comfortable saying. Absolutely stubborn. Oh, man, get your shit together. Anyway. I, I'm um, just saying, I had a Christmas miracle over the weekend, and all I can say is, about fucking time you came to your senses, and he will be home on December 17th. That's fucking excellent. I am so glad to hear that. He's... I have faith he's going to be all right. Please. Because he's got to accept that Facebook friend request. He's got to accept some new friendships. <laughs> yeah, he's, just, to... he's so stubborn. He told Paul, can you, can you tell Paul that I am not um, accepting new friendships? Yeah, this is, uh, I think we met for, was it Emma or Ari's birthday? One of the birthdays, right? I can't remember. We went to, and we had this um, this really wonderful cookout. And... I was interacting with him. It's like, yo, this old man's all right. I tried to send him a friend request. Just sat there. It's like, okay, all right. I'm not worthy. That's what it is. I'm not worthy, Lord. Nope. It's okay. Nope, not uh, worthy. But that was like six fucking years ago. <laughs> did he Jesus ever, Christ. Did he ever decline it or did he just leave it the way it is? I don't, I think he just looked at it and said, hmm, and moved on with his day. I don't know if it was declined or not, but it's like, all right, well, so be it. Uh, my feelings aren't hurt. <laughs> no, that's um, that's a okay. And dad is pretty fucking cool. He's he is stubborn as shit, but he's a cool dude. Um, People right, say so. he looks like Mister Miyagi. No, I think he looks no. like a Colombian drug lord. I will go with that before Mister Miyagi. That's no, that's just people being racist. He looks nothing like Pat Morita. Was that Pat Morita who yes, played him? Yes, Pat Morita. Okay. Like, they used to fuck with him. He used to go to um, Parks Casino, and he would be at the blackjack table, and they would call him Pat. That is... That's racist. 
And he's like, that's yo, racist, but he that's also died. kind of, it's a little funny. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's like, really? Okay. Oh. But um Yeah, okay. Oh wait, we're supposed to be talking about New Year's resolution. Jesus Christ. We we're always off topic, and that's what we should have called this production, because we are always off topic. Always. We are it's never right. on topic. I now have medicine for ADHD. And, and I do not. And you don't do a goddamn thing on the no, uh, it's actually great. Um, let's see. So what are your when, what are your res- resolutions? So um, it's difficult for me to make a new resolution because most of the things I set out to do, I've actually done. I I don't know. I've been lucky in that regard. Um, but I think this year I'm going to get a couple more professional uh, certifications and things like that. But uh, one moment. Yeah, I was oh. trying to figure out how to swap off from you, so we kind of oh. got the tail end of you sneezing, so. <sighs> Sorry, my apologies, y'all. I'm I'm allergic to my own bullshit, you see. Um, no, uh, I just want to try to get a couple more uh, Microsoft certs to prove that I know how to do this and thereby enrich myself financially and professionally. Um, I guess... I got a couple of the standard goals. First off, I'm still a little too heavy. I weigh like 191 right now. That's down from 230, so I'll, I'll take it. If I never get lower than this, it beats the shit out of being like so heavy it was affecting my health. Um, but I'm thinking if I can get to 170, I'll be like my A1C, my cholesterol, all of it will be in much better condition. Or at least that's the hope. Um, financially... See if I can actually save and maybe even invest a little more. That's not something that's been an option until fairly recently. Um, yeah. And of course, profitable side ventures. I need to be able to commit way more time to it, as Anne rightly scolded me for not doing. Um, yeah, I, that's pretty much it. More hustle, more grind, and more fun. That's That's the only goal. Now, I have irresolutions. The things I am thinking I will avoid doing. And first and foremost among those, um, I got to cut out my one remaining bad habit. And in that case, it's uh, it, it, it's 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 weed in the evening. I freely admit it. It keeps me sane. No, that's a little too much. It, it does help me sleep. But I am wondering, like, I don't smoke cigarettes. Um, at night, it's like a three-second drag on one of those little carts, and I am in la-la land. Everything is nice. I feel... As though I am vibrating, and there's n- everything. There's no difference. It's me, the bed, and then there's an infinite continuum between the two, merging and meshing. And then I wake up, and I'm like, "Damn, what did I write?" Hi, Paul is fucking hilarious. Okay, good. <clears throat> well, so. I mean, look, if it makes you feel any better, guys, mm-hmm. I get so many text messages from Paul. At least me and Ro- Romina do when he's high. He's like, "Yo, I'm so fucking high. I can see it's sound." Great. I can see the bucking sound, ask me anything, blah, blah, blah. I always want to give, like, the wildest answers. It's like, come on, just ask me an opinion. Like, which dictator would beat who in a fight? I'm going to tell you, Genghis Khan whoops Hitler's ass. No no effort. No fucking effort. He doesn't even have to try. <laughs> he was on the battlefield. I mean, look, I haven't um, had any weed in a while, even though I have gummies. But mm-hmm. I still remember the last time I really, really, really smoked up and... Holy fuck, I could see the river fighting each other. And I was like, had the duvet on me. And I'm just like, oh my God, it's fucking biting each other. Holy fuck. So yeah, yeah um, I get a little bit paranoid when, I, when I'm when i high. So, But I do enjoy being able to go to sleep. That is the biggest benefit. And that's why I do it only once I start feeling like I'm going to be asleep soon. Let's keep it that way. Uh, which I think also is why I just apparently fucking ignored my alarms this morning. Hold on. Folks, I, I used to be bitter about Apple devices. I love a- a- Apple computers, Loser. but I did not like meh, deal with it. They've been trying to get me on the iPhone team for a while. I finally capitulated. Never going back. Well, he was the but, one guy who, out of all of us, would force us to have green yeah. text messages. And... If you're an iPhone user, you know how much that shit sucks. Hey, Paul. What? (laughs) 
There we go. Yeah, this thing tells me I was in bed for 10 hours and I actually got eight hours and 13 minutes of sleep. So for those two hours that you weren't sleeping, you were busy thinking about, can you tip a cow? Um, actually, hold on. Do I have, hold on, let me see. What did I write last night? This could be fun. Did I write last night? Well, I will tell you while you look for that. I fucked up Richard's sleep schedule last night because what? No, I didn't. Not not that way. Um he was ready to go to sleep and I said he said something about like booty clapping and I was like if you're in space like specifically the moon with anti-gravity how would the booty clap look like? Would it be in slow motion? Would it be a really big booty clap? He's like, "Oh my god, stop. I can't do this right now." And he was up thinking about how would a booty clap look like in space? We got to get some cheeked up astronauts like yeah, yeah. yesterday. Yeah. All right. Elon Musk, you piece of shit. You still got money. Put the thickest astronauts on the SpaceX rockets, send them to the moon and have a twerk off. Yeah. I, I just we frankly, I think this is great. Yeah. This is a use your baser impulses to fund the scientific missions. Yes. Exactly. I think it's a great this one. This is for science guys. <clears throat> Please. Could you imagine having a strip club on, on moon, on the moon? Like that yeah, would be you know, fucking awesome. It would be, but like imagine like the stripper just grabs the pole and just starts doing this and slips and suddenly she's just twirling. Oh, dude, that would be so fucking cool. Everyone Ooh. trying to catch her, it's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. I got boom. It's like <laughs> ah, damn We're it. Assholes. All I caught all I caught was an ankle. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh my god! That's not my thing, Gregorio. You should have been the. <laughs> no, no, no! If there's no feet showing, he doesn't want to be a part of it. Ah, oh, god, that fucking guy. You know, it's probably he was such an odd person. I can't help but wonder, like, what does he think? Uh, like, if he heard any of this, what would his reaction be? And probably, I don't particularly care for feet. Although, no, stop. We're gonna stop you right there. Yeah, just stop. stop. You right there. My god. No more. Uh, yeah. So. That's the first irresolution. Um, I'm trying to think if there's if there's anything else. Try to be more patient because I've noticed, especially since the pandemic, I have become somewhat short with people because I just don't have the fucking time. I also don't engage in arguments. Like I am legendary for my ability to dive into a comment section on Facebook and start shit. Right. I I can't help it. I literally can't help it. I can't turn it off. Um. But that is an excuse. So I I got to do better. There's there's no other ways about it. Um, but as far as like concrete goals, I, I I have all the things that I want now. Like I don't I don't know. This is this is great, but it's also kind of like what do I do next? So as far as like tech, I need to get a better camera because photography is something I used to do all the time, and I think I want to dive back into it. It's just it's it's a wonderful thing to get into. It's fun. Um, but it's an expensive hobby. I have a decent camera, but it's a little older. It's the uh, Canon, not Canon, forgive me, Nikon uh, 7. D d d d d d I can't remember. That's, that's how long ago it's been since I bought it. But um, I got to say, those mirrorless cameras, those look fun. Very light, very tiny. Um, I yeah, I had cool. one, actually. I had one before. They're so fucking nice. Yeah. Uh, did you get Sony? Had, they make excellent. I had excellent a Canon. Mirrorless. I had a Canon okay. one. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> by the way, I forgot to tell you about one more thing in our fortune. It says impulse buys are going to be the downfall of us. Since you're talking about buying stuff. <sighs> Let's take a closer look at him having a meltdown over this i wish i weren't blurry this fucking webcam it always loses focus i don't know why fuck you webcam I need a better one you know what i, I want impulse purchase a better one today yes no no the new year didn't start yet so we can totally do it now like oh, I, actually, i've been I'm... loading up and buying stuff now because i know impulse buys next year are going to be terrible for me um 
There is actually a camera that I want. Oh God. It is a God. It's like a auto focus and it follows you camera webcam. Yeah. Yeah. Those, I can't remember what it was called. It's an AI camera. I mean, I don't need my camera to be smarter than I am. Fuck that shit. No. Um, but, uh, there, there's a couple of decent ones that are made by God, even razor, uh, makes them. I think it's all offload offloaded from Logitech. Uh, there's magnificent stuff out there. Like I'm using a uh, Logi. I don't know what it is. It's a 1080 camera. Not bad for what it is. Yeah, I mean, Um, I'm using one, too. I'm using a 930C or some shit. Mm. It's a 1080. It can be HD if I wanted it to. I'd say let's keep video to HD just because I can't process 4K video files. Um, Ah, that's okay. yeah. But We, we I don't do want need, to get... you know, space to be big. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, no. I, I think I want to get... There's a... It's a streamer light. And I saw it and I'm like, that's so tacky. Just get a fucking softbox, you piece of shit. But then again, I looked at it and it's like, oh, I don't know. It's very compact, actually. And I think it might be worth it. So I might go to Best Buy today and get that just because... It's the last thing on my get it for myself list. Also, I mean, it's just a nice looking thing. It's cool. I I like mean, it. I bought myself a ring light, Mm -hmm. so, and I, Oh, you that's know, what you're using. that's what I'm using right now. I mean, I could change settings, and I'm like, it, hold on, let me, is that it? Are you doing anything, bro? Did it change? No, actually, it won't do anything while we're, okay. See, look, it changes me. Oh, yeah. Now I feel blue. See, avoid, avoid the blue one. No, you look like I a like zombie. this one. There you go. Yeah, that one's the best, Yeah. so. Uh, I, I, I don't know. There's that. And, um, I don't, I'm going to stick with this webcam for a while anyway, cause there's nothing wrong with it. it. Just occasionally loses focus, but that makes me look even better. If you can't see all the wrinkles in my face, it's a win. Mm. Don't worry, when when we hit the lottery and we have our own production company, we could have the studio of our dreams, you know. I want one of those red cameras. They are so nice. There you or go. black magic. Those are excellent as well. Um, I golly, want your that was, mic. <laughs> Oh, you want, this is, this is the legendary Shure SM7B. It's a sound you've heard your entire life without even knowing because you're not a dweeb who cares about that kind of shit. You just listen to the music. But this is the legend itself. The microphone that was used on Thriller. Michael Jackson used this microphone. Well, not this exact one, but still. Yeah, that, that was like, it does everything. It's got a shock mount. I can position this however I want it to. Um, the only problem is that it's quiet, but now they've released the SM7, uh, DB, which has an inline, or it's got a built-in preamp, which is this little thing right here. I give it phantom power. It gets loud. It makes it sound so much better. Um, yeah, that's like 500 where the SM7B is like four, but if you're going to get one, get the fucking DB, get the fucking DB. It is so going to be worth it. I already know. I have So. the the baby one. You got the MV7. Yeah, Yeah. I've got the baby because I don't have uh, a mixer like Paul does, and I'm Mm. just doing purely USB. So Actually, that's a good one because the MV7 still sounds good as fuck. It does, And yeah. it's an XLR mic as well as USB. So I would say, actually, the next thing you should get is A mixer? I, I can tell you exactly. Oh, yes. I can tell you exactly what you need to get. Um, the, well, hmm. Well, why You can do probably. I need a mixer if I can do everything digitally with this mic? Because, well, I mean, that's a fair question. If you get a good mixer, I, I'm not, forgive me, let me, let me correct you. I'm not using a mixer. I'm using a vocal processor, and that is going into a, an XLR to USB interface, right? Um, I'm using the, the Focusrite uh, Scarlet 2i2. It's a third gen. The fourth gen is so much nicer. It can drive this thing by itself. You don't need this on that uh, newest model. It's pretty fucking nice. I would still use it because I, I bought it, but even if I hadn't, I'd still consider it just because more gain is better, always. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll send you the information. Folks, I fucking love sound. Running sound was one of the best things I ever did, even though it meant working weekends all the time. Had some fun, though. That was great. Mm. Oh, and by the way, for my fellow Swifties, that mic that Paul has is also the mic she used while recording the ratatatata in I Did Something Bad. I mean, the girl's got class. What can I say? Yeah.
I mean, if Taylor Swift uses it, that means it's a great fucking mic. She also uses the Neumann U87 AI, but that's like five grand. I am not shelling um, out that kind of money. Mm, Fuck that. No, I will not. I would get the, uh, hold on, actually, which one is it? The Sennheiser MK4, I think. Yeah. I'm going to send you a link on this one because this is, it's a condenser microphone. And let's see here. I'm going to send this to General. Okay, let me see. Actually, no, I'm sending it to degenerate shit here. Yeah, that's the one that I was thinking of as a condenser to get. Doesn't it just look cool? And I am now sharing the screen so people can also look at it. And you know what? It it does look kind of cool. I'm scrolling. How much do you cost? 300 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. No, it's so it's made by the same company that owns uh, Neumann. Uh, basically, it's it, it's it just sounds fucking amazing. I listen to the samples because I'm yeah. that kind of person. So maybe, maybe that's a purchase. But I mean, I got this. Why the fuck would I bother? You don't need a new mic. I mean, if anything, no, I don't. If that mic dies, you just upgrade <clears throat> for the new one. This is not going to die. Are you kidding me? No, this thing, this. I've had this for 10 years. It still sounds as good as the day I bought it. And this was an impulse purchase that ended up profiting. So, I'm not going to replace it. I mean, I, okay. I don't fucking know. I mean, look. <laughs> I have this thing. That's okay. And um, that's all I got for now. We can't do this to the microphones. It looks too sexual. It's like, hey, what's up, daddy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, God, this is video uh, now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, we've both been outed. It's okay. We're it's, we're, it's we're, fine. we're we're heathens. Who who? If you expect better from us, you're in the wrong. So <laughs> at least they can see all the dumb shit that we do now. That is true. Yeah. Um, the goofy fucking expressions that I make. I talk with my expressions. I, if yeah, I was, he does. If I was mute, you would still know what I would think on any topic. Um, it's okay. I will just focus on me, and now they can't see you. They only see me right now. I can't see any of it. Yeah, because you're a loser. Nice, nice, perfect opportunity to make faces. Don't worry, you'll see it all later. Oh, well. Okay, <laughs> I actually then. came back as you did that face. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, okay, well. See, this is what happens when you don't control this shit. I control everything. You could be picking I, your nose and I'll be zooming in on you. I mean, that's fine. Go for it. Yeah, anything to, look, I don't have any shame anymore. I don't care. Past a certain threshold, you just stop giving a shit. And it's lovely and liberating. Oh, the nearer we get to having a four in front of our age, you know? Stop. Stop. What? For the love of Christ, stop with that shit. Okay? I, okay. We are, we are still young. I'm in denial. <laughs> we are still fucking young. Even though I wake up in the morning and my back hurts, <laughs> my knee hurts, both my knees hurts, uh... my shoulder hurts, my feet hurt, everything fucking hurts. Okay? This is what okay. happens when you get fucking old, but we are still young. 1999 was 24 years ago. Shut your fucking whore mouth. That's, I'm sorry. It, it had to be said. Shut your whore fucking mouth. It still feels like it was a decade ago, doesn't it? Right? Like, 20 years ago, it's like, or, or there's students now who are saying, in the late 1900s, bitch, it was 1998. What the fuck is wrong I... with you? <laughs> Why would you do that to me? <laughs> God. Yeah. I mean, I have two nephews who are, you know, 21 and 19, mm -hmm. and they, even though I'm still the cool aunt, they make me feel old as fuck. Like, Is it the slang fuck. they use that does it? Because I don't know what the fuck Riz means anymore. It's like, yeah, yes, yeah, the, the slang they use, and then the way they talk about our times. Oh, we finally become the people we thought we would never be old. It's a privilege. I'll take it. Jeez. Oh, I know there's got to be like two people who are in their 50s listening to this. It's like, some motherfuckers have no idea. But they'll find out. Maybe. I don't know about the dude with the glasses. He, he might not see 50. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just like, shut oh, up, God, Boomer. I made myself sad. <laughs> no, Boomers are older than 50 now, aren't they? I, I would hope so. My, my parents are Boomers. Aren't they? Hold on. My dad uh, was born 1965. 
He's 59 years old. Yeah, he's a boomer. Technically. No, actually, he's Gen X. What? I think so. When did Gen X start? Come on, Google. Yeah, literally 1965 to 1980 is considered Generation X. Oh, shit. Okay. So. All right, so they're Gen X. Fine. Wow. Jeez. Gen X is old. Damn. Holy oh, shit. Christ. Oh, my mom is the last boomer. <laughs> the last boomer? Well, the last year. How about that? 54. Okay. God damn, she's 69? Huh? She just turned 69. Really? Nice. I'm sorry, I yeah. couldn't help it. Your mother is an angel. I shouldn't talk of her that way. I apologize. She's an angel until she's got a carving knife. That incident... Uh, wait, which time? <laughs> uh, many times, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Many fucking times. That, that temper on that lady. Oof. She's a Sagittarius. They're fucking crazy. I mean, mm. I should know. I married one. Linda's a Sagittarius. I Good luck to you. No, uh, actually, no. She she said, Sagittarius's are lucky, obviously. I was like, yeah, you found me. And then she, she just rolled her eyes and said, okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I say that to Rich all the time, too. I'm like, oh, where would you be without me? And he's like, I'd be poor. I'm like, that's true. That's a meditation. I think, where would I be without such and such people? I really... This is uh, this is something. This is a resolution I do want to keep. I want to try and do this a little more than I do every day. I dedicate just maybe ten minutes, ten minutes to uh, thinking of the things I'm grateful for, and it always boosts my mood. It always does because I tr I try to imagine what would life be like without this or without this person, right? I got to tell you, it's it's. I think. Um, I want to say it's a stoic technique called meditatio malorum, and please forgive me if I uh, if I mispronounced any of that. Pre-meditatio malorum. Okay, yeah. So basically, that's one where you try to think of all the ways that things can go wrong, and you try to account for how you would fix it if it does. Very practical. That's stoicism for you. Um but yeah, I, I, I think more time spent just appreciating the things that I have, the people in my life, it made me a better person. Or at least that's, that's, the, that's the ambition. I will always be a, a hooligan, so. I mean, it's in your blood. And if you weren't, we wouldn't be able to do this podcast. I'd Damn have to like right. fire your ass. <laughs> God, I've never been fired and I do not want to be Obviously, I don't want to be. Well, actually, yeah, I know. As you fired Romina a few episodes ago. Well, I mean, it wasn't a firing. <laughs> it was a more like an acknowledgement that Romina, we love you. Yes. But our schedule just doesn't work. Even for me, I fucked up this morning. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Also, so, why yeah. do we continue to record early in the morning? Um, I think that we're dumb is the answer. Yeah. Um, at one point we did it just because it's the, the, the earliest we could get was like for that particular couple of weeks was in, uh, the early morning. But I mean, like it's a Sunday. Why are we doing this to ourselves? I know. You I know can we, we need to rethink late. this. <laughs> I think so. I think like a nine o'clock start is probably saner that way. If I do wake up in the morning, I can get a couple other things done. I can wake up, prepare myself. Yeah, let's switch to nine. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's 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 do that. That's fine. They're they're listening yes. in to how we like, you know, plan our podcast hmm. right now. You're, you're getting the behind the scenes right now, and we're realizing we're dumb fucks right now. My entire life has been a succession of incidences that have humbled me because I was born with an ego bigger than my head. And this is just the latest in a long line of should have done better. Should've done better. Anyway, yeah, um, I think that's that. That's my uh, resolutions. I don't really have any. I, I think, actually, no. Last year, I resolved to not to completely stop drinking, but just to not get drunk, and I did it. I have not been uh, shit faced hammered in a year. Feels pretty good. The, I mean, the consequences of abandoning this stuff, worth it. Good. So, if I can beat that, you can be cigarettes, bitch. Uh, sorry, I mean, 
<clears throat> Whoa, I just um choked on um Paul's insinuation that I'm a loser and I'm a I didn't say you were a loser. You know what? I am not a fucking quitter. <laughs> Jesus Look Christ. in Paul's face right now. Um, last year, or for this year, I had endeavored to have more experiences instead of, you know, mm -hmm. buying things, which turns out having experiences actually cost me a lot more money than yeah. it did buying things. And, and, and I'm just like, what the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> like, I did Disney. That was like five grand easy. I did Taylor mm -hmm. Swift. Between multiple tickets. times yeah between tickets and merch that was a good maybe 1500 i did ed Ooh. sheeran twice and mind you i bought four club seats for people and then i also did the other ed sheeran concert and i flew to boston for that oh, that's probably another two grand maybe 2500 i am not doing experiences this year yeah i um i would love to do that actually no there is one big ticket item I'd like to do, and that's um, it's an Alaskan cruise because my mom, she wants to travel. She's never gotten to. Frankly, neither have I. She wanted to go to Paris, and all I could think is, Mom, you don't speak a word of French. Who the do you, cares, you... man? Go to Paris. Enjoy your fucking life, man. Well, first and foremost, to enjoy Paris requires quite a bit more money than she has and realistically can acquire, right? Uh, for another, my boss got back from Paris a few weeks ago, I think. Yeah. And I asked him, what's it like there? And he sent me a photograph of a trash can and trash piled up right to the trash can. And it's like, oh, it's like you never left Philly. Everyone's rude. The food is good. It's filthy. And uh, yeah, everybody's mad. Okay. That, that's, yeah, I, that's that, Philly, except for they have a French accent and they have better vive food. Vive la France. Eh, do they, though? Do they, though? Okay, look, I admire French cuisine. I love it. It's wonderful. It's it, it, it's a delicious okay, thing. Okay, fine. It's... They have castles. All right, fine. They got that. Fine. They got the okay. Bastille. So. Yeah. No, Um. but we think that it would be better to go to Alaska. Number one, a flight to Seattle, Washington is way cheaper than a fucking flight to Paris, man. Uh, you got to yeah, yeah. go. First, we'd have to get to New York. Then we'd have to go all the way to... Uh, I think it's Heathrow mm -hmm. in uh, England, in London, I think. But then you can take the train then, from there. You can. That would be fun. Oh, God. That's a, that's another goal for her, actually. When she was visiting, she's like, I just want to take the train. Let's go. It's like, Mom, that's not a train. That's the fucking L. You're no, not no, getting no. on there. No, girl. You do not go on there. There are dudes who, like, no. jerk off and, like, make eye contact with you. It has happened yeah. to me. <laughs> See, everyone's got a fucking story about the L. Mine oh, is a dude who was looking for a fight, and I just kept looking straight ahead. He got, like, this close to me. I'm like, I have a knife, and I'm going to fucking stab your ass the moment you raise a hand. I'm going to do some I'm gonna do some manslaughter. I don't know how to I also say this, but if, if it's a choice between you or me, I have a future. Fuck yeah. you. I mean, look, when I was on the L, this that story I was telling you about, he was mm -hmm. in the seat that was, like, on the side of me, and I was just, like, leaning yeah. my head against the window, which you probably shouldn't do on the L. No. zoning out and mind you i was like 18 at the time and i see mm -hmm. out of the corner of my eye this pink thing in his hand which was his dick and i was like oh my god and i looked over and he's staring at me and he makes eye contact with me as he's stroking and i look around i'm the only other person in this carriage with him so as soon as the train stopped i got off and i went into another carriage i'm like yeah carriage I couldn't think of it, and I've been reading like 1,800 stories where they say carriage. That's so. okay. I just think it's so charming that you would uh, default to carriage. Well, everybody... The New Zealand is coming back out. <laughs> exactly. I mean, we know for sure that the L certainly is not a fucking carriage. It is a fucking cesspool of disease. Yeah, it is. Although sometimes, sometimes you luck out. Those dudes who were selling like 10 pack of socks for four bucks. Yo, come on now. That's a you deal. You gotta get that shit. Seriously, you gotta boil the socks first because I don't know what the fuck's been in it. I but... mean, look, it's Philly. You, you, you take no chances. Yeah, seriously. But, um, oh man, when there was that chemical spill, all I could think was those dudes who sell bottled water on the L are about to get their fucking rent paid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. They, 
They or even on the boulevard? Shit. Yes. Yo, fuck the boulevard. Just completely fuck the boulevard. We have gone so off topic, and I don't give a shit. We're going to keep rolling That's with okay. it. That's okay. That's fine. Yes, it's all right. Um, I uh, So every day for a year, I had to take the boulevard to get to 76 to go to work, and I had to take it back the same way. An hour at least to get to work, an hour or more, usually more, to get back home. And this commute we made every single day. You know why? Because we're dumb. But it's okay. We're much closer to work. Both of us are now. So it's it's not a big deal. Honestly. It's... Um, I'm glad you moved closer to work. Yeah, it's... Oh, my God. We also, because of my Kia issues, um, we went to one vehicle, a CRV. And that's a nice-ass ride, I have to say. The utility... It's just, it's fucking great. You could fit like six dead hookers in the back. It's yeah, amazing. you could. Yeah, you if you could. fold them up right, maybe even ten. I yeah, said I that in front that. of a cop one time, not knowing he was a cop, joking about the trunk size of my Impala. <laughs> <laughs> and he just shakes his head and says, have a good day, sir. And I was my like, my God, <clears throat> who the hell is that? He's a cop, dude. Damn shit. For I... legal purposes, that was a joke. <laughs> I had plans to upgrade my car next year, but now thinking about my forecast or my fortune for the year, I don't. I think that's considered an impulse buy, is it not? It depends on the state of the vehicle, which you know yours is probably pretty good. You still drive an? What is it? You drive an Audi? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Rich bitch. Anyway, um, I have twenty thousand no, miles on it. It's a two thousand twenty. I was about to say, like you, you got that years ago. Hell no. No, you do not need a new vehicle right now. I was just going to upgrade to an, another Audi. <laughs> an SUV. The one that I specifically want is... Um, Show me this thing. I'm pulling it up. Hold on. I'm going to send you... Those are the Qs, right? Yeah, I'm going for a Q. Where's our fucking... Yeah, I'm sending that to you, and then I am going to share the screen so people can see. I would love this. Just straight to the most expensive one. Jesus. Yes, I would love this. Not in that color, but I would love that. Oh, my it's... God. For those who demand more. Listen, it is a beautiful car. We need an SUV. We traded down when we moved to Georgia, got rid of our SUV, and now I have one car that is the same price as two of our cars back in Philly. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, we got three dogs now, fitting three dogs and two kids as they're getting bigger, which, by the way, Ari is like almost my size. She's up to my fucking nose now when she stands and her feet is the same, almost the same fucking size as mine. Oh, this damn thing has all-wheel steering? Are you serious? Uh-huh. Yo! By the way, I wouldn't, like a be, motherfucker. I wouldn't be getting the 73,000 one. I'd be getting one close to, like, 90 grand. Mm. But I would be trying to get mm. it as a deal. It like, hurts. You know, like an end-of-year deal when they sell it a 90 grand yeah. version for, like, 70 grand? Yeah, that's what I would be trying to when do. When they're trying to clear out all their older stock, yeah. yeah. Um, I was... I have it still in mind to get a motorcycle for myself. Uh, pr uh, to be clear, it's like the um, the Honda Super Cub. It is more of a scoot. It's like a souped up scooter. I don't need something that goes really, really fast because if I have that, I'm gonna want to go really, really fast. And that's how Paul died. So this is literally something just for commuting. I'm gonna buy a fucking wheel lock for it though because one of our neighbors had her wheels stolen. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. She she drove some little Suzuki, I don't know, something easy to hotwire, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's a cute little thing. It's like something you would see in, like, yes. Italy or something. It's so cute. It It's not as expensive as a Vespa. Uh, I, I thought about that, too. But, like, the Super Cub is... It's a vehicle that just... I love the look of it. It's It, it, it will complete my uh, librarian kind of aesthetic, right? Yes, it would. Oh, God. Only comes in two colors? Oh. Uh, yes. But, you know, they got wraps for everything. So. Okay. Well, I was just Personally, showing uh, the listeners the Super Cub for you. I Look, can you? I can imagine myself on that. 
Seriously. It's it it's so damn cute looking. Now I don't know if I want to get the I think I want to get the uh that teal and beige because the other one looks kind of like a cop car. Yeah, just a little bit. No, it totally looks like a cop car. White, blue, and red. Yeah, no. I'm yeah, not, no, no, that's like popo right there. I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. But yeah, that's. I mean, I just need something that goes. That's all I need. I am ten minutes from work. This is strictly to commute back and forth. Nothing else. See, I would love the um, Bonneville Triumph, mm. uh, which honestly, I don't know how to ride a motorcycle. So it's me actually getting one is like, you know. Oh, it's... they're not even all that expensive. No, no. They're well, not, compared but... to compared to um, vehicles. Oh, yeah. 12,000. Not bad. Yeah. Ooh, there's that. a blue stealth edition. Oh, look at this. But With I don't all the know how to ride touches a motorcycle. Of a genuine motorcycle legend. The T100 offers beautiful, iconic style, easy handling, and modern capability. All I know is those are some classy fucking bikes. They are, and I don't know how to ride a motorcycle. And I am I used to be fearless as I was younger, but now mm -hmm. that I'm older, <clears throat> coming up to a 4, <clears throat> yeah, I am I'm terrified right of dying, and I feel like I would die on a motorcycle. Uh, I don't think I would die on a motorcycle because I am, I, I, I don't know. I just, I know how I am on the road, and I'm paranoid. I am, I, I, I'll be fine, probably. But yeah, that's the only like big thing I was thinking about getting. Other than that, nothing. Well, first, I got to get the actual motorcycle license, which is a whole fucking thing. Um, also, I got to let it warm up. This is, I am not riding a bike in this shit. Fuck no, that. fuck that. Although, uh, you know what? I live in Georgia. Could you imagine riding a motorcycle just around during the day? It's fucking amazing. Scenic, everything. Yeah, I can't imagine that. I would love to. Are you kidding? Shit, I mean, uh, going uphill, and if I had to stop, I'm pretty sure I'll roll backwards, though. Oh, you just turn the wheel. That's true. The front wheel, just turn it and it, it, it'll help you stop. So, see? I'm already thinking of things. There you go. You got it. You got it, bro. But, all right, let's see here. I think that's, the, that's, that's all the resolutions that I can think of. Man, I really need to, like, make notes for these things. You I know mean, what? I'm I, th gonna. I think I would like to, I don't know, with our fortune, I wanted to... Put some money away next year. Just just put some money away. But I feel like that might be difficult with the way everything is going. I don't okay. know. We'll see. And then also my husband has a great fortune for his year where he's apparently going to, you know, have career opportunities and he'll be the one balancing it out and making the extra money. So maybe I can afford things. I don't know. Get it rich. What year was Linda no, wait. born? Uh, 84. Oh, she's the same as him. So she's going to make the money. Woo! Get it, girl. Sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I think. Wait, they're, I, they're born on the exact I, same fucking day? December 18th. Yeah, the same year. Yo! We lucked out. Uh -huh. We lucked out. Look at that. <laughs> I knew I uh, liked her for a reason. Yeah, she she puts me in my fucking place. Seriously. Look at you with the older woman. Age ain't nothing but a number. Mm -hmm. To the same degree that prison is just a room. <laughs> well, you got three hots and a cot. Jesus Christ. Well, um, no, I, I, uh, some people ha are hung up on that, actually. They, like, they will not date someone who, especially guys, it's like, oh, no, I can't date a woman older than me. No, I won't do it. Who fucking cares? Who cares, man? Seriously. Let her be your sugar mama if you want. Who cares? <laughs> no, we uh actually no, our incomes combined, we realized it the other day. We were like, oh my God, we're upper middle class now, according to the math. Nice. So yeah, struggle to get there. Never going back. Yeah. Like Rich was like, should I stop working overtime so that we don't hit a new tax bracket? I'm like, dude. Me by myself, I'm in that tax bracket. So it doesn't matter what the fuck you do, we're stuck in this tax bracket. So you might as well get all the extra money that you want. 
Oh, what a burden. I'm successful. Oh, oh God. God. How tragic. <laughs> yeah, he's but, very like, fuck you. I'm like, well, you know what? Fuck you, too. They do love each other, folks. Like they, oh, they, they, oh, they, they, they bicker, but it's 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 always funny. Yeah. This is oh God listen, God. um on the seventh, because it's the tenth, we celebrated our I'm doing the math, eighteenth anniversary of dating. 18th. Congratulations. So it's a long ass time. And we've been married for almost 13 years. So like, dude, we're just an old married couple at this fucking point. If you're not like this at this age, then you know what? Fuck you guys. Because all that lovey-dovey <laughs> stuff after 18 years, my God, it's exhausting. <laughs> we've been together long enough. I no longer have to impress you. <laughs> exactly. Like, he calls me sweatpants and like, that's I'm in a hoodie hilarious. and like sweatpants, and it's like it's like ever since you started working from home, I don't ever get to see you dressed up anymore. Your hair isn't done. Like right now, my hair isn't done. Um, usually, it's always up, but like he's talking about, like I haven't straightened my hair, I haven't done anything with my appearance. He's like, you're just in the same five or six sweatpants and hoodies. Like, you got a fucking problem with that? That I'm sounds like envy to me. Yeah, I'm like, I'm also not wearing a bra half the time. Like, do you give a fuck? And he's like, no. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Jeez. Step off my dick, Rich. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I would be all about that lifestyle, too, if I could. I'm hoping to get there one day. One day. But You'll get there. Have it. I believe I will, too, actually. It's yeah. it's it's like, I don't know. Uh, my, my whole philosophy of life changed right about, mm, I guess I was about 25, 26 years old. Yeah. I thought, if it scares me, I'll do it. I did exactly that. And, um... It's it's paid off pretty well so far. Who Good dares wins to borrow from the special air service? Exactly. All right. I think we are at the hour mark, actually. Okay. I don't have a person to condemn. I updated this sheet. We actually, we have a spreadsheet of everybody we're sending to hell. So it's kind of like a hit list. Yeah. NSA, yeah. please don't, don't. We, we're not, not that we're kind not of hit gonna, list. Okay, promise. We're not going to, we're when we say we're sending them to hell, we mean it entirely in a metaphorical sense. Oh, okay. But, Said we're sending our bad habits to hell? Yes. Yes. Okay. All the things that we have done this year that we know we probably shouldn't have. Like, yeah, I'm going to make two I'll hamburgers like punch for that dinner. child? Which child? Did they have it coming? Probably. I didn't punch a kid. I didn't punch anyone. I, I thought you did. Huh? Did I? <laughs> no, I'm just There's fucking so with you. It's okay. Well, you. if I did, the kid had it coming, all right? That kid exactly. was a real asshole. I don't want to hear about their four. Fuck you. I'm watching this. You shut up. No. <laughs> all the mean things that I say to Johnny sometimes. No, but I'm trying no, to motivate him to lose some weight and to, like, not piss in the house. Johnny's a dog. We should oh, clarify. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Johnny is a yeah. um, dash hound who looks more like a sausage. And I yeah. inherited him last year. Actually, yeah, about a year ago when my aunt died. So he's like an old ass eleven year old dog who yeah. like doesn't know how to piss and pee in the right places, and he's afraid of grass, so he pisses on my concrete. So I've, at least I've got him outside, and now I'm trying to get him to go in the grass. And when I got him, he was thirty pounds, and he is now a lovely twenty one pounds. Well, that's that's progress. Did you pronounce it dash hound? Isn't it a dash hound? Dachshund. It's a dash hound. All right, come on. We're going to Google this. <sighs> I mean, Dachshund and Dachshund, same thing, right? Pronounce Dachshund. I don't... Oh, is it Dachshund? It is, it is pronounced Dachshund. Well, he's a Dachshund. Okay. Dachshund. Okay. He's going to be a Dachshund. You get him losing all that weight, he's going to be fit as fuck, okay? He's going to be the is puppy that why equivalent they call him of Usain Bolt. I don't know. Because they also call them Dachshund, as in like D-O-X-I-N. And I just... <sighs> what the fuck? I never even heard of Dachshund. What? Oh, you know what? I am sending you this. And I let's, am let's sharing this, this fucking shit. screen. There are no differences uh, between dachshunds and dachshunds. They are both names that describe the purebred dachshund dog, but the name dachshund likely came about as an alternative spelling to the original German name. So are they just like pronounced the same way? 
They are pronounced dachshund. Fuck. All right. I'm an idiot. You're not an idiot. You just, uh, you, right. you're mistaken. It's okay. Well, I have. Anne's perspective is informed from having actually been a globe hopper. Okay. So she's got the international thing. She's cheap. She, she, mm. See, other people also call them dash hounds. What other people? I don't know. Other people I've encountered. Even the fucking people at the vet. I am okay. in the South, okay. Yeah, so was I when we had a dachshund. So, okay. You know what? Fuck it. He's a fucking right. fat wiener who... Well. Well. Who I strive for him to be 18 pounds by the end of the year. By the end of next year. Ta-da, that's how we tied like, it back in. You, you gotta get him uh, on the uh, the little puppy treadmill. You know what? He would just sit on it. Come on. <sighs> anyway, we have... Strayed far again as we were trying to wrap up. We are sending right. our bad habits to hell, and our punishment for that is what? Um, the bad habits themselves have to get good habits. There, that's what they have to do. We are personifying them. There you go. My worst one at the moment, probably, probably gluttony. I'm still struggling with that. Yes. It can only eat, um, the. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time we say bad habits, I keep thinking of Ed Sheeran. This ginger just keeps coming up in all these conversations. Sorry. I swear to God. It's okay. Sorry. And I think my biggest bad habit is probably smoking. Yeah. It is. For your nicotine addiction, it must take Chantix. <laughs> Chantix is going to have some fun-ass dreams. Yeah. My mom took that, and she said she was like, she had the strangest dreams, and it was so unpleasant. She yes. was like, I can't with that. No. I did it, too. And I'm like, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Never again. Yeah, Would I'm you? good. Pass on that. Sleep is one of the the most consistently good things that I have. I'm not fucking that up. But anyway, yes, this is the first video episode, if all goes according to plan. And if it doesn't, then it's just another episode and back to the drawing board. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Failure is always an option, kids. It's always an option. Okay. Well, are you going to see your tagline, motherfucker? If you don't uh, hear from I us next so. week, what? <laughs> Okay, if you do not see us next week, then you will definitely see us in hell. Or maybe on YouTube, because now it's video, I guess. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. One day, I'm going to do an episode while, we're sm while I'm smoking a cigarette. No, what? Mm. Well, it's okay. Happy New okay. Year's, motherfuckers. Bye. Pathetic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks for listening, folks. We hope you enjoyed the episode. The intro and outro music is Funky Box Step by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com, licensed under Creative Commons by Attribution 4.0. If you enjoyed this episode, why not share the love by sharing the show with your friends? Or maybe your enemies? Both. Just share the episode. Thanks. <laughs>